Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are brand new for the very first time, I am Victoria and this is my channel In The Fro. Please do click that subscribe button down below so you can come back for even more fashion videos. This video is going to be my Bulgari bag collection. It's a video I've been meaning to film for quite some time. Seeing as I just added one new beautiful spring 2021 bag to my collection, I thought this was the perfect time to get this filmed for you. Just as a slight disclaimer for anyone that may ask, I am a Bulgari Accessories Ambassador. Very, very proud to say, but the team haven't asked me to do this. This is just me wanting to do a full collection video all about my beautiful Bulgari bags. So let's just get straight into it. First bag into my Bulgari collection is the Serpenti Forever. Obviously Bulgari is a renowned and hugely famous luxury jewellery brand. And then they ventured into accessories and brought out their coveted bag collections. Definitely needs a little bit of a buff. But this is still such a loved bag in my collection. It is in this gorgeous metallic deep royal blue. It's almost got a bit of a um, purple undertone to the blues in this. But it's what made me fall in love with the brand completely back when I got this maybe five years ago. Style of this completely blew me away. If you're not that familiar with Bulgari bags, they are a continuation of the luxurious elegance of the Bulgari jewellery. And so the bags contain a lot of the key characteristics of Bulgari jewels, which is why these bags have the most gorgeous chain strap. This snake-like chain strap is just one of the most beautiful features of the bag. So it's almost, I always say it, but it almost makes the bags a piece of jewellery. Then all the bags are adorned by the serpenty mosaic head on the front. They just look so special. They are just the most elegant and sophisticated bag that you can buy. And this one completely blew me away when I first got this. So it's one that I will keep forever because it's so, so, so special to me. I'm now just gonna move through the bags in terms of their styles. The same bag as the blue one, this time in a quilted metallic silver leather instead. And the way that this has been stitched with this quilting and this almost like snake skin patterning all the way around and the chevrons. It is a thing of absolute beauty. Also in this metallic silver, it's extremely wearable as an evening bag. I can't tell you how many times I've worn this bag. And also I feel the more I've worn it, the more it's become just a bit more lived in, but it doesn't look like it's been battered or used too much. I feel like the leather is just kind of broken beautifully. Obviously it's got more kind of creasing in the leather now than it would at the beginning, but I just feel it's just still looks so perfect and so beautiful. So again, it's just another fantastic bag in my collection. And again, in the same shape, the Selfridges limited edition Bulgari collection that came out last year, I believe. This was for the Cinemania collection. And there was about six different bags, all in slightly different colors. And they all had these beautiful graphic prints on the front. This is the one that I fell completely in love with. It's just such a unique piece in my bag collection altogether, but in my Bulgari collection, it's also super unique. There's something so playful about this kind of graphic print on the front and the bright colors, but still I find it quite a wearable bag. If you've got quite a simple outfit, maybe all black or camels and neutrals, and this little pop and this kind of exciting print is just super special. Okay, another metallic, this time the patent metallic bag. Similar to the classic Serpenti Forever, this one is just a little bit more elongated horizontally. So it's more of a rectangular bag than the square. Due to the width of it, I do like to just carry this as a clutch, but it does also have the strap, of course, as well. This time with a little bit of a, a leather piece of the strap, as well as the snake links. Again, this one looks a little more scratch because of how much I've used it. And with it being a patent leather, obviously it's gonna scratch a tiny bit more, but equally it's a bag that I continue to use, or I will continue to use as soon as we get to parties again but it goes with everything. That's gonna be something that I mentioned quite a lot throughout this video probably, the fact that my metallic Bulgari bags, I wear the most because I feel everyone needs a silver and a gold bag in their bag collection because they will likely go with every outfit that you try and put them with. So this has been very well loved. 
This little cutie pie is one of my favourite pieces in my Bulgari collection. This is such a soft green tone. It's not quite a mint, it's also not a lime. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle, very muted pastel. It's one of my favourites because of the size, the kind of thickness of this bag. You can actually fit quite a bit in here. The lovely bright pink interiors. That's again something about Bulgari that's so fun and playful, these bright interiors that they always add into them as well. But I think this is such a beautiful piece, like in spring summer adding this to your like white summer dresses or throwing it kind of cross body over a full black outfit it's such a beautiful bag and I must admit one I'd highly recommend if you were thinking of buying your first Bulgari this one is such a wonderful size as not only a day wear bag but it could also be perfect for evening wear as well then we get into the serpentine top handle bags of which I've got a couple of these now. This again was a Selfridges limited edition bag um, again that I worked on a number of years ago. Again just so fun with the colours like this bright orange and the pink on the inside which carries on through into the, cons is it called concertinering? It's almost like a harpsichord <laughs> the way that it all pushes together. So lovely and playful inside and then for this collaboration they added these fun little charms that hang just below the serpentine head here on the front. And I just particularly loved this one with the lightning bolt and the colour scheme. Yeah, I adore it. The fact that it's cream, again, it helps me to wear this with a lot more things. Obviously from the side, it's a lot more bright and beautiful, but from the front, it just allows you to pair this with quite a lot. So I do love to especially wear this with kind of like spring, summer dresses and also evening dresses. But talking of evening attire, this absolute beauty is just a winner. This again is quite a new bag to the collection and it just has the most intricate like metal link details, almost a bit like chain mail that's been pulled across the front of this and all the way across the back. It is extremely special. Again, it's very much this beautiful jewellery piece almost. It's so sophisticated. I was absolutely blown away when this arrived. And then the inside, this one is black. So it's so classy, so chic, so luxurious. And again, the most wonderful piece for wearing out for evenings, date nights. It just says so much, just so elegant and sophisticated. And continuing with the top handles is the brand new bag to my collection. Again, the top handle bag. This time with this beautiful, chunky metal necklace around the front. You can either leave hanging like this, or you could even use it to carry up as part of the handle here. But this is such a modern and new style for Bulgari, adding these little extra touches, as well as the thicker strap. So it's an amazing crossbody bag. Like for those people who would wear this as more of a date night, because it is so dainty and delicate with this little, this little thin jewellery strap, this one now is much more kind of day wear appropriate. So I feel like this style really calls out to quite a different market than maybe would have bought Bulgari before, which is really quite exciting for the brand. And they've also got this new, this new style of serpentine gold head on the front as well. And then on the inside is where the magic happens with this bright lilac. It is so fun, super colourful, just beautiful candy tones for spring, summer 2021. I just personally think that this bag is going to fly out as soon as more people start to notice it because I think it is just a dream. It's probably gone in as one of my favourite Bulgari bags in my entire collection now. This is the Bulgari Ambush collection bag. So Bulgari collaborated with Ambush, who already have so many like unique and far out, very individualistic kind of designs. And they brought that fun straight into Bulgari, which I think is just so nice about the brand. Watsi does have this very Italian luxury side. There's so much fun to be had with the bags and the styling. Um, and this I think was just this wonderful playful moment last summer where the collaboration was launched. And it's just such a unique and new style. Obviously this, the serpentine on the front, almost looks like a, its own little cartoon character. Completely different take. It can be worn as a belt bag as well as a crossbody bag. Obviously not everyone's gonna like this style. It's very modern, very streetwear. But I think for anyone who is a big fan of Ambush, this will have been adored. Then, likely, oh, I know I've said a few times now, Okay, this is probably my top three favourite bags. It's hard because I love them all so much, but when it comes to the ones I want to wear and wear and wear, or have worn so 
much. This is certainly up there. It is definitely one of my most battered bags, that's for sure. I'm just looking at the back of it here. This is part of the Nicholas Kirkwood and Bulgari collaboration that happened maybe two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago now. And it comes in the full gold with the studding across the front. So this is a bit of a weapon, to be honest. It's, it's fairly sharp. And then on the back, it's this plain leather, which if you look quite closely, it's quite scratched because I have worn it so much. It's an amazing bag for taking out for parties and, and for nights out because it's just like, wow, this is amazing. And obviously the matching lovely metallic snake head on the front. And then all the interior, again, is completely gold. So it's just a dreamy big gold bar. Oh, oh, now I can't say it's in my top three, can I? Equally, a bag I love and I think a fantastic option if you are wanting to buy into Bulgari for the first time is the Diamond Blast bag. The reason being that this, I feel, is much more of a very day wear appropriate style of bag for a few reasons. The size of it, first of all, is a little bit bigger. It kind of rivals a lot of the bags in the market with this sort of size that it has. So you can fit a lot more in here. I have spent many days out in London with just this bag and everything fitted inside of here. But it does also have a much more day wear appropriate strap. Whilst also having that elegant aesthetic to this strap, it is also a lot, lot chunkier than the ones I've shown you before. And with this extra bit of leather on here, it is much more day wear appropriate while still having that very bulgari aesthetic. So for that reason, I have worn this one as a day wear bag, most likely the most out of all of them. And it still looks in absolutely perfect condition. I'm genuinely surprised at that. Because the quilting goes all over the front of this bag, it maintains its look and its style so much better than if this was just a plain, like calfskin leather, for example, it would get scratched, it would get plucked by keys or anything. Whereas this, it's almost like the quilting takes your eye away from any scratches. So it still looks amazing. And the final bag in my collection is this little cutie, this cream and white belt bag. This is just such a beautiful tiny little bag for times when I'd go for days out and only need a few little things with me. It would be a fantastic festival bag and just great overall for the belt bag trend that was around. I mean I feel like belt bags are still a thing just not quite as trendy as they were maybe 18 months ago but equally this can be worn as a crossbody and it does come with two different straps. So it comes with the leather strap to make it into a belt bag and it also comes with the famous bulgari strap as well so you can wear it as a crossbody bag um it's so cute so dainty and sweet and um again i've managed to keep it in really lovely condition overall so that is my bulgari collection one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve wow twelve bags um, i'm just going to really quickly though just skim through a few other styles that you may not have seen that i currently have on loan first being the backpack i think it is one of the cutest little backpacks that i've seen in the accessories market it just has some of the generic features of the bulgari styles the quilting obviously you get the serpenty head on the front the beautiful champagne chain strap. I think it's such a wonderful option if you are looking for a backpack. It comes in a number of colours as well. Now this is one bag that I do really want to add to my collection, again because of the size of it. Sort of matches with the Diamond Blast with the kind of size of this. But it's just such a fantastic size, lined in deep purple. Recently I wore this with a black and green coat and then just this big bag on the front and it just worked so beautifully. I think the colour of this is absolutely superb. Yeah, just another fantastic choice if you're looking for like a classic. And the final bag to show you is again a brand new, more modern style. This is much more of like a camera kind of bag. Again, the kind of thing that would rival, say, the Gucci disco bag or just those kind of smaller, more intimate little bags. And again, with the thicker chain strap, just makes this so modern and easy to wear. It's just got, it just feels a bit more edgy, a bit more androgynous. And also the idea with this bag is that you can buy lots of little accessories that you add to the bag and little pockets, smaller bags, and they all just kind of clip on and you can make your own custom style of bag, which makes it again very modern 
bringing in that customization element. So those four bags I currently have in my collection on loan, but they're not necessarily mine. So I didn't want to mention them as such as like my full collection. But I think this is every single one. I just feel so lucky that I'm able to have this sort of a collection. I didn't realize this is how many I actually had. But I mean, it's a brand I love and they're just bags that I find absolutely breathtaking. So yeah, I love every single one. I would love to know which is your favourite down below. If you're thinking of buying a bulgari for the first time as well, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what you're thinking of buying as your first piece. But I hope for all the rest of you this has been somewhat helpful. Maybe if you're here because you're thinking of buying your first bulgari bag or you want to find out my thoughts on a particular style. I hope it's been somewhat useful. I'll try and link all the bags down below in case there is a particular style that you like that maybe you're trying to look for. I'll link them all down below. But yeah, thanks so much for being here guys. And like I said, if you do want to subscribe, please do hit the little red subscribe button down below. And for all of you, thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.